functions and uh, uh, always remember that if uh, your function is raised to negative one that's not like literally raising it to negative one but we're trying to find the inverse of g of x so this symbol raised to negative one as we have done in the uh, trigonometric functions remember uh, sine raised to negative one is finding the angle given the value but if you're finding sine uh, is straightly you're finding the value given the angle so uh, how do we find the inverse of g of x equals x cubed minus 2 so we will follow the basic steps to find the inverse of a function so the first thing is this g of x make it as y so y equals x cubed minus 2 okay so that's the first step now the second step is to flip your x and y because uh, we know that the basic definition of an inverse function is just the flip values of x and y between two functions so now your x becomes y and y becomes x so this now x equals y cubed minus 2 then afterwards we need to isolate y because we will solve for y so uh, remember the patterns when isolating a certain uh, expression or variable in in an equation those which are added and subtracted will also be added and subtracted all the numbers uh, multiplied will be divided now if you have an exponent you need to raise that uh, exponent to the reciprocal so first is uh, we can add 2 here and eliminate 2 so add 2 and so you have x plus 2 equals y cubed now to remove y raised to 3 because you only need y, we need to raise the whole equation to one third because one third of y by uh, the law of exponent, when you raise uh, an exponent to another exponent, you multiply that expo those exponents. So we will raise this to one third and we also raise this to one third. It makes this now equivalent to 1. Now remember, uh, as I've told you before, uh, r radicals are numbers whose exponents are fractions so this now becomes cube root uh, so x plus 2 raised to 1 third is the same as getting the cube root of x plus 2 and this now becomes y and of course the last step is uh, to make your y g of raised to negative 1x so therefore our answer should be uh, the cube root of x plus 2 is equivalent to the inverse function of x and therefore our answer here is letter A.